Hey, this is Paul from Clark Taxidermy. We probably had the most interesting set of sheds that we've ever seen in the shop. It came from Rob Schaefer at Schaefer Leather. And uh, just a really unique piece. Apparently found in 1956 or 58. And they've hung on to these things for several years. My uh, daughter went over to the leather shop looking for a belt and walked out with two crisp $100 bills and, and a set of sheds. She got them on Facebook and... Uh, showed them what we did. This is kind of unique. We're using one of these shed antler systems by Shed Connections and we got this one through McKenzie. About a $60 piece. Pretty easy to install. And you can do just about any shed that you want. Uh, this one's for deer. And uh, Rob, he's not sure what we're doing with it, but we're doing a full sneak. We've got these antlers set. We're going to use a rock and driftwood to finish off this piece. And uh, we're going to deliver this over there to Schaefer Leather and and hopefully Rob's really excited. I know we are here. Hey, I'm Paul Clark. Welcome to Marietta. One of the greatest little towns in the United States, seriously. We're here to reveal a deer today to a Mr. Rob Schaefer from Schaefer Leather. And this is a unique story. This was a set of sheds that was found in 1956 by Rob's father. Uh, my daughter Kelsey came into the shop around Christmas time to get a belt and walked out of the store with a set of sheds and $200 bills. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go in and meet Mr. Schaefer and show him his deer. We'll see you soon. Good to meet you. I'm Paul Clark. And uh, listen, this is Rob Schaefer. This is the first time I met this guy. But uh, again, like I said, my daughter comes in to buy a belt and walks out with two crisp $100 bills and a set of sheds. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and bring the deer in and then we'll let you see it. And I really want to I don't know if we're going to cover it or not, but we definitely want to get your reaction when you see it. Okay. And the gentleman who had seen your deer, was it Rory Brown? I don't know, the guy from the Giant Eagle. He's a Giant Eagle. I'm uncertain of his name. Mm -hmm. Real uh, nice guy. I know we're really excited. So the next shot you see is okay. going to be his face smiling, I guarantee it. Right. There we go. It's oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's cool. Cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, does that... I, when we got this rack in, I had no idea how wide this animal was until we set the horns on his head. We got goosebumps. I That's mean, just... top five deer out of the thousands that I have put yeah. together. I'm, I'm just, I, I know. Imagine if he still had the stuff that's Absolutely. broken off. He's broke off here, he's broke off Three places, off here. yeah. yeah. It's, you know, and one on the back side. Somewhere right here, yeah. But double main beams, no brow tines. And when we were setting this, it's it took- forked out like a Oh, he is, cute. he is forked, he's got double yeah. forks. But when we were set, I was setting this, it took me about a half hour to figure out how that rack actually was when he was walking. But uh, I'm very excited. I hope you are too. Well, my dad found this in 1956, uh, just out of the Navy. Hello. Come on through. Come on through. You're good. Sure? Yeah. Come on through. Well, that's neat. I know I was. Uh, you know, Kelsey gave me the story, and I told so many people about this. So many people. Can you imagine being in a tree stand and that guy pulling yeah. up? That's why I asked you. I know it was in '56, but I wondered if there anybody had gotten a picture. You know, no, no one was. You know, nobody photographed. That's why I knew that it's probably a, a long shot. But yeah, and he was almost in the Marietta city limits. He was right on Mill Creek Road, right above uh, Thermo Forma. Well, I wanted to thank you for actually one of the neatest projects that we've ever gotten to work on. And we do a lot of African stuff. We're getting ready to do a lion and a giraffe. And, but this flat out was, was, a, was one of my favorite projects. And thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Hey, thanks for coming today. We really appreciate it. Had a lot of fun showing you Rob's deer. Never seen anything quite like it. And the next time you'll see us, uh, we'll be at Gary Jones's. And he's got a couple of huge trophy rooms. We're going to be looking at some of his African work and North American. And this is one of my favorite people in the world, and I just can't wait to go to Gary's house and show you all the things that we've done through the years. We'll see you then.